क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द ऊटो एस्टिक एंड लैंग्वेज फैमिली इज डिवाइडेड इन टू अ नॉर्दर्न ब्रांच विच इंक्लूड्स द शोशोनी लैंग्वेज ऑफ द प्रेजेंट डे आइडहो एंड यूटा एंड अ सदर्न वन हुज बेस्ट नोन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इज नोहाटल द लैंग्वेज ऑफ द एस्टिक एम्पायर इन मैक्सिको लेक्सिकल सिमिलैरिटीज अक्रॉस द फैमिली इंक्लूडिंग ऑफ बोटैनिकल टर्म्स कन्फर्म डिसेंट फ्रॉम अ सिंगल लैंग्वेज स्पोकन मिलेनिया अगो and the family's geographical distribution suggests an origin in what is now the us southwest however vocabulary pertaining to maize isn't shared between northern and southern branches despite the crops universal cultivation among uto astican tribes given archaeological evidence that maize originated in mexico and diffused northward into what became the us southwest some linguists reason that blank Which choice most logically completes the text? Is it A, Northern Uto Aztec and tribes likely obtained the crop directly from a Southern Uto Aztec and tribe rather than from the non Uto Aztec and tribe? B, variation in maize related vocabulary within each branch of the Uto Aztec and family likely reflects regionally specific methods for cultivating the crop. C southern uto astican tribes likely acquired maize at roughly the same time as northern uto astican tribes did though from different sources D the family's division into northern and southern branches likely preceded the acquisition of the crop by the uto astican tribes so which should we choose so first let's analyze what is given it is talking about the uto astican language family which is divided into northern branch and that includes the shoshone language of the present day and this is the northern one the shoshone then they are talking about the southern one and best known representative is the nahuatl that is the language of the aztec empire in mexico so this is just talking about two languages northern branch and southern branch ones after that they talk about the similarities across the family uh including the botanical names confirmed descent from a single language then they are comparing botanical terms in both the languages to confirm the descent is from a single language which was spoken a millennia ago after that they observe the family's geographical distribution and see that the origin is now the us southwest so what is now the us southwest that is the origin of both of these languages later what do they discover they see that vocabulary pertaining to maize isn't shared between northern and southern branches so this particular crop maize the vocabulary is not being shared with both the northern and southern uh, language types despite the crops universal cultivation among uto aztec and tribes so even though this uh, was this crop was there universally in these tribes the vocabulary is not matching so given archaeological evidence that maize originated in mexico and diffused northward so they see that there is an archaeological evidence that maize originated in mexico after that it went northward into what became the us southwest so we know that mexico is here and uh, us current us is on top so maize originated here and then it went northward that's what they say so what the linguist reason which should we choose A is incorrect because the text focuses on vocabulary pertaining to maize in the branches of Uto Aztecan language family and referring only to how some Uto Aztecan tribes obtained maize wouldn't directly address the role of language so here they are talking about the crop likely obtained and that doesn't address how some Uto Aztecan tribes obtained maize that wouldn't directly address the role of language Moreover if northern uto astican tribes had acquired maize from a southern uto astican tribe it's reasonable to assume that the northern tribes might have also picked up southern uto astican terminology for maize in that exchange then b is also incorrect because the text discusses the fact that the northern and southern branches of the uto astican language family don't have shared vocabulary pertaining to maize not the idea that there are variations in such vocabulary within each branch that is the text focuses on differences between the two branches not on differences between languages within a branch c is incorrect because the text focuses on vocabulary pertaining to maize in the branches of the uto astican language family and referring only to the timing and source of maize acquisition wouldn't directly address the role of language furthermore the text implies that 
southern uto astekan tribes probably acquired maize before the northern tribes did given the evidence that maize originated in mexico the location of the best known representative of the southern branch of the uto astekan language family before spreading to the north so the best answer is d and that is the correct one d is the best answer because it most logically completes the discussion of uto astekan languages the text explains that the northern and southern branches of the uto astekan language family descended from a single language which is believed to have originated in what is now the us southwest resulting in similarities across the family's languages however the branches don't have similar vocabulary for maize even though maize has been cultivated by all uto astekan tribes the text also indicates that maize originated in mexico and spread northward into what is now the us southwest the area where the uto astekan language family originated it follows then that the language family had already divided into northern and southern branches before maize reached that area if maize had been present before the division occurred the family's origin language would have terminology for it that likely would have been reflected in the branches meaning they would have had similar vocabulary for maize if maize arrived after the division occurred however the tribes in the two regions likely would have developed vocabulary pertaining to maize separately at the times when they acquired the crop so the family's division into northern and southern branches likely preceded the acquisition of the crop by the uto astekan tribes so the division of the language to northern and southern branches happened first or it preceded and after that the acquisition of the crop happened that's what is the best answer over here so so i hope that's clear mm-hmm.